Hi all. Today, let's see how we can create and manage purchase documents, the procurement details inside InfoGate accounting software. Here we have the facility to create the purchase documents and, and inside the master menu, there is facility to create and manage your suppliers. First of all, let's see how the window is. When we press this, you will get the window for making the purchases this is the window we use for entering purchases you can enter the invoice date here and choose the same here also the document number for the purchase entry the internal document number is automatically generated and you can enter the invoice number from the supplier here And then choose the supplier here by selecting the supplier name or by pressing this facility we can choose the supplier now this is blank we can create and manage your supplier accounts in master supplier master when we press this one facility you will get the window to create and manage your suppliers I'm creating a sample supplier His Arabic name, their address, and Arabic details all the details uh, for that supplier and the VAT number, which is very important to save and keep as per the Zakar rules. And this facility we can choose uh, fill pending records in supplier payment, which will be helpful to load this particular supplier's pending invoices while we are making payments. And then save the supplier and you can create and manage all the suppliers over here after that we will come back to the purchase window and then choose the supplier over here and then the details of the supplier will be furnished and after that you can start choosing the items by referring to the document from the supplier we will start choosing the items from our inventory when we press the the letters it will be filtering according to the name uh, or according to the letter and then you can start choosing the items one by one we press enter this will be loaded to here and then you can enter the quantity and you, then you can enter the rate of the purchase for example if it is 100 real and the VAT will be affected automatically and then you can click down it will come down to the list and then repeat the process for each item from the uh, document from the supplier and then fulfill the document the, and the document amount and totals will be matched here and after everything is okay if the document is local means uh, purchasing from the location locally you can choose local or either if you are bringing the doc uh, commodity from uh, outside the kingdom then you can choose foreign if it is foreign purchase then you can enter the other uh, expense details in this section other expense details like other direct expenses like government clearance charges customs clearance charges transportation charges or all other uh, direct expenses pertaining to this document can be listed and add it to this document for example like this you can choose the choose the expense details now here this will list all the documents uh, all the accounts for the uh, for this software either assets or something then you can enter your expense accounts in accounts master this facility is actually uh, to create and manage your chart of account inside the software now for example i am creating one sample account for the customs clearance charges clearance charges and the arabic uh, details for the name and the type will be expense as roof and the group will be direct expense and the uh, name for the group 
you can enter if it is optional and then you will save the ac account in the chart and then you can choose that account over here the customs clearance charges and after that you will enter the uh, amount of customs clearance and if it is affected to 15 percentage VAT and you have the document separately for the this voucher from the supplier you can choose 15 percentage and then you can choose the supplier and manage them and who is providing the service for the customs clearance or any other expenses for example transportation services like this and then you can narrate if it, if it is anything to be narrated here you can narrate them and then click enter this plus it will come down and the total of this voucher uh, these expenses will be affected to this purchase document this foreign purchase document and the value of this expense will be divided and affected to this rate automatically in you know, in our inventory which will help to manage the costing automatically these expenses will be uh, divided and affected to the items cost in that way you can keep the cost of the item clearly and then all the entries if the all entries and everything are okay and then you can choose the bill type here either it is cash or credit you can choose if it is cash it will affect directly to the cash account in the chart if it is credit it will affect to the payable account under this ledger for the supplier and then save this document once you save the document it will ask for the print if it, if it needed to be printed you can print or press no like this you can create and manage all the purchases in infoget accounting software when we press previous you can find the details of the purchase and when we press you can select the purchase details that you have entered and you can filter the purchase details according to these criteria. Once you enter the purchases, the stock is automatically affected. For example, this sample item inside the inventory, now 10 more pieces is added. This sample item is added with uh, the, the number of purchases that we have entered. Quantity one piece like this you can save and manage your purchases and after getting the pur uh, purchase entries the reports for the purchase this section is open you can filter the total cash purchases only credit purchases only and the total purchases item wise details with purchases and all the details of the purchases will be open from this menu from this module area and if the purchase is credit for example if the purchase is credit like this then as I uh, had referred the the total is flowing the total will be affected in the payable account in the chart under this ledger for the supplier and if you want to find the ledger for the supplier you can go to supplier ledger and open the supplier ledger and choose the supplier to uh, whose ledger need to be shown and enter the date period to fetch the ledger and then print once you print this will show the supplier ledger and you can choose from this period to this period and the document that we have created is now listed in the period chosen that's 10th of December and the total of the custom uh, supplier payment table is listed here all the vouchers will be listed here and according to this uh, ledger balance for the supplier you can enter the payments you can enter the payments here by selecting this option supplier payment this the menu on this window will be listed and explained in detail in another video how we can save and manage and keep records of your uh, supplier's ledger 
save and manage the payments from this for the supplier and everything will be detailed explained in other video thank you for watching